Let's get to our top story this morning. The Chips and Science Act is headed to President Biden's desk today. The president has said this bill will make the U.S. the world's leader in chip manufacturing. His signature on the bipartisan bill is the long-awaited green light for Intel's multi-billion dollar project to move forward. Tino Ramos is live at the site in Licking County where construction can really start ramping up now, Tino. No doubt about it, Tracy. Full steam ahead at this point. It's right behind me of sorts, just down the road here where we're talking about where that site will be here. But clearly a big boost from Washington, a big step forward for this central Ohio community here. President Joe Biden expected to sign this morning that CHIP Act, and this will pump in billions of dollars into this area to build those semiconductor chips. Okay, what's all at stake when we're talking about this? Well, with the signature from President Joe Biden, well, nearly $53 billion will become available to help build two semiconductor conductor chip plants just outside of New Albany. Now, this has been in the works for some time, and it comes at a time when the U.S. is suffering from a shortage of semiconductor chips to help build anything from cars to appliances. Now, work has already begun on the 900-plus acre site in Licking County with the hope of completing the two plants by 2025. So what does this mean? jobs. Uh, it will create more than 20,000 jobs indirectly. 3,000 of them will be high paying jobs for the plant itself. And the benefits come in the form of tax revenues for the state. This Intel plant is expected to add some $2.8 billion to Ohio's annual gross state product. So building that, that workforce, the, the talent base in Ohio is going to be massive because you're going to continue to, to attract more companies who see, ah, the talent is is already there. I can bring my company there, make an investment and draw on that talent and create a, a whole new set of industries. So basically looking for that domino effect, we can tell you Intel is investing 20 billion into the project itself. But with the signature coming from President Joe Biden today, this clearly puts everything in full go, clearly putting New Albany on the global map. In New Albany, Tino Ramos, 10 TV News. All right, so what happens next? Intel postponed its groundbreaking until the CHIPS Act passed. But the company still hasn't set a date for the groundbreaking. Intel does have a meeting with the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency in a few weeks. They'll be asking for an air permit for permission to build their facility that might cause some air pollution. Not everyone is thrilled about the CHIPS Act or the Intel factory. 10 TV has talked with neighbors in Lincoln County, and they're upset about it, the changes coming to their neighborhoods. And there are others who are selling their homes to make way for the factory. On a national scale, U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders criticized the act as a blank check. And other chip companies have voiced some concern about parts of the CHIPS Act banning them from further investment in China. Today, Ohio State University President Christina Johnson is in Washington, D.C. for the signing of the CHIPS Act. This isn't the first time Johnson and Intel have been tied together in the news. Back in May, you may remember this. Intel CEO spoke at the OSU commencement about the jobs project that would create all of this would create for Ohioans.